Has K-pop officially surpassed American pop music? I don't know. You might have to ask Usher. Andrew, this is going viral because Usher, he has joined the Blinks. <gasps> but after he joined oh. the Blinks, I heard he might join BTS Army. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, so this is going viral right now because Usher in a GQ interview gave huge props to Blackpink after his sons took him to the Atlanta concert. And he was like, yo, man, I feel goofy. Like, the, their technicality, their light show, it was so mind-blowing. I got to go tweak my Vegas show. Yeah, man. So, uh, uh, that's it. Usher was inspired by Blackpink. Guys, uh, we're going to go through all the reactions and we'll give you our takeaways on what American artists can learn from K-pop artists right now. So please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Let's go. Yeah, the first major comment online was like, man, I am so glad that Western and US artists are finally showing love to K-pop artists because for the longest time, it was the other way around. The K-pop artists were always showing love to the US artists. And then sometimes people would even accuse K-pop of being a copy of American R&B, hip hop and pop music. Music, but like it's just great to see that the influence is coming back around yeah i do think that years ago it was definitely more accurate to say that koreans were copying american pop music but i do think it's become its own thing in the past several years and with these new bands like i think they're just dominating that type that genre it is is the Koreans got it. And we are many generations deep into K-pop now. I think we're at generation three or generation four. I think that, you know, the West has always been aesthetically inspired by the East, maybe specifically Japan with the whole Harajuku neon, like uh -huh. super future thing with Nigo and Bape and Teriyaki Boys. But uh, it never was individual bands. So it's dope to see, Andrew. It's sort of like how the car went from Germany to America. And then, you know... Japan and Korea are doing cars like Toyota and Hyundai. And now Ford, which originally did the original commercial car, is copying Toyota and Hyundai. Mm. So it's all coming back around. Uh, the next comment was, oh my gosh, if he was impressed by Blackpink, wait till he sees BTS. Then his head will explode. And other people were like, yo, man, how come the BTS army is never happy for anybody? And they're always trying to downplay other people's successes. And some people said, ah, I don't even care about Usher. Who cares about Western validation? K-pop all the way. And, you know, there was just a range of opinions of, uh, you know, basically, the, I guess, what, the tribalism within the K-pop fandom world? Yeah, I guess I didn't know that the BTS army and the Blinks, which is the Blackpink fans, like, had some type of tension. I'm not saying it's, like, real beef, but, you know, that they would get each get at each other on the internet. So I think that's fun. I mean, I guess, in a way, K-pop's reaching that point where now not everybody is a fan of everybody You're saying Korean. it has to fracture and splinter I, into like- It has to segmentation, man. It has man. to balkanize. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody was like, yeah, I am glad that they are not inspired by Usher because then their music would be trash and most uneducated garbage. I don't well, know. You're saying that about Usher, one of the top three, at least five R&B artists of all time? I think I the know. toxicity of the K-pop fan base is online is a whole nother debate. You guys got to clue me into that because it's not my world. Moving on, Andrew. Somebody said, what about an Usher Black Pink track, dude? Ooh. That would be huge. And maybe that would be like the biggest collab of all time. So I had to look through the previous K-pop American collabs, Andrew. We've got Halsey, Lady Gaga, Selena Gomez, Dua Lipa, Coldplay, Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, John Legend, Wale, Missy Elliott, French Montana. That one came out of left field. Snoop Dogg, Charlie Puth. Where would a Usher Blackpink collab rank on this like hierarchy of K-pop American collabs? Dang, I guess it would be pretty big, even though Usher has passed his peak. He's a little old now. Damn, but swear. That's messed up, man. <laughs> These are my confessions. I'm not at my hottest like I was 20 years ago. Um, Andrew, what do you think about people saying, man... This is obvious because K-pop and other Asian pop artists, but specifically South Korea, they take pop music the most serious. Bro. So, of course, they would inspire everybody else because of all the genres. Obviously, not saying necessarily that Asia or South Korea rap is better than American rap, but as far as pop goes, this genre is dominant globally. Dude, I don't know, man. K-pop might be like the MMA of music. Where it's just like mixed, like mixed sounds and mixed influences all thrown together, uh, all spun together and woven together, you know, seamlessly. So you're saying, you're saying it is logical that Usher would be influenced by essentially the best pop uh, system in the world. Yeah, listen, I think the best pop groups in the world are just Korean right now. Because, I mean, think about it. What, what are other, the other pop groups? After One Direction, which was a great group. I, I can't think of another one. I'm sure there's ones bubbling, trying to rise up, but I can't think of them. They're not big enough for me to know. Also, I do think the Western world is kind of like maybe done with producing group pop they groups. They seem like they've shifted their focus. Yeah, away I, don't, I don't know what they think, but I don't know. I guess in the West, maybe it's just seen as like kind of 
campy or maybe they can't they don't they don't have faith that they can control all the characters without yeah. a bunch of uh controversy coming out scandals and only the asians are the ones that can like buy in enough together and then create like this whole yeah spectacle. like well you're saying treat pop like it's harvard um Somebody also said, you know, this is on the Western side, but Usher doesn't need all that stuff that the K-pop shows have with all the lights. He's just a true rare talent. He just needs a spotlight and a microphone, and he can do all the dancing and the singing himself because, you know, he's not, like, systemized and factoryized. Yeah, I do think that falls in line with some aspect of, like, American individualism where we would want to put the spotlight on this one grassroots artist that's truly talented, writes, produces, performs all their own music and dresses cool and has style and made it out of their mom's basement or their parents' garage or whatever it is. Like, they love that story in America. It's like rags to riches. It's that rebellious culture. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is true that culture is, like, incredibly different. Yeah. From, from and, no, I, and I would say this. I mean, I guess the fact that the world has latched on to the kind of, factoryized K-pop world so much goes to show you something that people don't mind because ultimately the performances are good and the music is right. good and it's a clean image. Generally, lyrically, they are generally cleaner than a lot of the right. Western You're saying artists. the backstory of coming through the farm system doesn't turn people off. I guess not. And, not and why much. would it? Honestly, yeah. it just depends on what culture you come from. Um, Andrew, what are your three major takeaways about why K-pop has surpassed American pop, specifically in the pop music genre. Yeah, so one analogy is like, I feel like K-pop to a lot of Westerners is seen how like Asians are seen to a lot of Westerners. You know, so a lot of people know that Asians together, when they train enough, can achieve something and do something very cool. Whether it's K-pop performances, whether it's the 2008 Beijing Olympics, whether it's all those school kids, those Chinese girls dribbling at the same time in sync. It looks incredible, but then you also say, oh, well, individually, maybe they're not that good. It's just because all of them are training together for 12 hours a day for like two years. Right. I, I agree with you that that would be a very hypercritical Western eye yeah. looking at K-pop or just things in Asia in general. Obviously in Asia, more collectivist, more Confucian. We just would think, yeah. we would just not see I it that read it that way america likes to like highlight the natural talent that someone has while versus like in asia it's almost like these people got together worked together bought in and created this amazing yeah, yeah. product it's almost like comparable a little bit to like ronaldo ronaldo is considered like a hyper talented a little bit selfish soccer player versus japan doesn't necessarily have like the same level of ronaldo but like as a team very collectivist mm -hmm. right very strong as a team um somebody also said yo man i feel like K-pop in the West is a little bit like animes where people can name BTS, Blackpink, and maybe now Stray Kids, 50-50, depending on how deep they are into the K-pop game. And almost like for animes, they know Pokemon, they know Dragon Ball Z, they know Sailor Moon, but they don't know the top 50 groups and they don't know the top 50 animes. Right, well, the it, it runs deep. And especially in Asia, more people are going to be fans of all the smaller groups. But even in right, America- Right, you're saying in Asia, they're a fan of K-pop as a genre, but in America, they might be only a fan of like the top 1% Yeah, groups. I mean, even as a casual- anime fan i could probably name like five several animes but like i can't name 10 or 15 or 20 even that you know off the top of my head yeah i mean it makes sense even in europe guys if you guys don't know hip-hop is not as big as it is in america so they will name you like 50 cent Snoop dog eminem dr dre you know the old school guys but they're not necessarily going to be listening to vince staples in Bulgaria. Mm -hmm. um, moving on, Andrew. Somebody just said, yo, K-pop is 10 out of 10 super polished from the beats to the hooks to the dances that go along with the hooks to the music visuals. And they're blending all the genres that you might have five different breakdowns representing five different songs in one track. You got an acoustic part, a hip hop part, an R&B part, a pop part, and an EDM part all in one song mixed together. You can't find that in Western music. Man, I don't even know if they would put that much work into like a single song maybe. I don't know. I mean, but yeah, it is pretty amazing. And uh, I just know that Koreans, the Korean pop industry has essentially mastered that style of music. Yeah, no, it is very, very cool. And it's very, hey, very- Let me tell you this. If something's been out long enough, an Asian's going to learn how to do it better. Yeah. Somebody also said the fans are hyper participatory in a way that they never were participatory in people's careers in the West. Yeah, I think you have to understand that another thing that people like about K-pop is because the- the stars, despite them coming from like these academies, they feel very personal, right? And they're really good at interacting with fans, interacting with them on the internet, going on game shows, showing their personality. Travel it, shows, food shows. Yeah, I mean, it's something that maybe in the West, they would find also kind of cheesy in a different way. 
So, because like an artist would not want to put themselves on a game show all the time just for exposure because it, I don't know, like maybe it just seems like overexposed or something like that. You know, there's this. It's very different. different. Culturally, thinking. everything is different. Um, I always thought it was interesting. I remember the K-pop fans got Andrew Wiggins to be a starter in the NBA All-Star game. And that's when I was like, whoa, because I didn't even know K-pop. Fans. They probably weren't even that into the NBA, but they were able to shift it through the galvanization, unified internet efforts. Obviously, they were messing with Trump a lot as well. Some people say that um, also the K-pop stars are so much better than the American stars. I mean, naturally, I guess maybe because they're Asian or maybe because for whatever reason, are staying out of trouble. Not saying that there haven't been anybody surrendering from 2 p.m. and ended up going to jail, but but for the most part, it's like 5% or 3% of the criminal charges that you sometimes see against Western artists. Yeah, no, but in, in the West, we like our badasses. We like our artists, our performers to mess up, make a mistake, and have a redemption story. Mm. But in Asia, it's a little bit more like, Oh, uh, hey, so like we give you the opportunity to be like rise up and be this star. So you got to be clean. Yeah, man. let's say for you can't make no mistake, man. If you make a mistake, you're going to go to prison. Let's just forever. say this in Asia, if you get caught with certain substances, even if you're a pop star, you will go to jail for so long, your life will be altered forever ever yeah and in america you may just get a tiny slap on the yeah. wrist but you like, know there's like, pros and cons i don't think k-pop fans necessarily are dying to see their biggest stars like make a mistake and come back yeah i don't think shang ri's coming back and releasing the solo yeah. album about like i was like but in, in america prison, we're like, like yeah do something wrong be human yeah Not it's a very sure. up and down country over there i think they value more like stability and like kind of like a slow rise and a slow grind i mean Man, it's just very different. Anyway, guys, let us know in the comment section below, what do you think? Why do you think the K-pop, or do you think the K-pop has surpassed U.S. pop as a genre? And why do you think that is, if you agree with that statement? Um, what do you think about Usher giving, you know, Blackpink all the props? Are you a Blinks? Are you a BTS army? Shout out to everybody. Like we said, this was not really our core competency field. You know, I didn't know 10 out of 10 or even close to that in this world. But let us know what you thought of our takeaways. Until next time, we the Hop Hop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.